Morning, morning. Yes, yeah, lovely here in Selbach in today. I'm doing a, a little charity ski event for Ski for Cancer. It's lovely to be here skiing. It's fantastic. Well, fantastic to see you. So, Eddie, I've seen the film and I absolutely loved it. I was charmed to bits. It's an incredible story that we all know, but it was lovely to be reminded of it because I was about 12 when you were doing or 14 when you were doing that. Uh, let, let's talk about this because it's, it's a long time coming, this, Eddie. When did you first sell the film rights to your life story? Yeah, it's been a long, long time coming. I signed the deal to make a movie about my life originally 17 years ago. Uh, and then the, the, the project kept stalling and I got on with the rest of my life. And then all of a sudden, about 13 months ago, Matthew Vaughan rang me and said, we're starting to make the film. And uh, I was gobsmacked. Uh, they did <laughs> such a good job. He had the moustache, he had the hairstyle, the glasses, the helmet, everything. And uh, he did a fantastic job playing me in the film. I'm really impressed. Well, it is a, it's entertainment. It's a movie, obviously. How much of it mm. is, is true mm. to your life story? Well, originally, Dexter told me last summer, the director, that there was only going to be about 5 or 10% of my life actually in the film. But having watched the film, they've actually taken a lot of other stuff that happened in my life and they've used it slightly out of sequence and slightly out of, um, you know, uh, chronological order, that kind of thing. Um, but I think there's actually probably more like 50% of the film uh, that is you know, pretty accurate, pretty true. So uh, a lot more than I originally anticipated. Um, you know, they said 5%, but it, it, there's a lot more in it, uh, and uh, it was fantastic. And uh, I, I mean, it makes me cry. Every, it makes me cry when I see the trailer, let alone, <laughs> let alone watching the film. Uh, but I'm looking forward to seeing it again next week. And what about, what about, because your, your dad's played by Keith Allen in the movie, and I have a feeling, because in the movie, he's not really up for Eddie, the film star, becoming this uh, ski jumper. He wanted him to be a plaster. He thinks he's wasting his time. Was your dad that against it? Eddie, or was he a bit more supportive? Well, when we had a private screening back in January, I was really worried with my dad coming uh, because they portrayed him so differently in the film. He was kind of really against me right up until the end of the film. Um, and he wasn't like that at all. He was just as supportive as my mum was. Uh, uh, but he watched the film and it brought tears to his eyes and he gave me a big cuddle at the end. And, uh, you know, that was fantastic. So uh, I, was, I was so glad that he enjoyed the film as much as I did and as much as the rest of the family did. So he kind of took one for the team as it were. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, he was really good. And Keith Allen is a local. He lives just a couple of miles down the road from me. So uh, I'll have to meet him in the pub and buy him a drink. Yeah, you must do that. One of the things that is, is fantastic, Eddie, is reliving the story because we watched it from afar, watching you go over there and do these extraordinary feats. And people didn't really understand the fact that for me, it was so, so difficult. I had no money, no training facilities. I, I scraped food out of bins. I slept in the car at minus 25. I slept in cow sheds and in barns. I slept in a mental hospital um, and I didn't know where my next meal was coming from all these other jumpers were chipping in with equipment um, but with the film although not a lot of that is in the film what they did capture is the the heart of the story the essence and the emotion of the story um, and and hopefully the film will show that for me getting to those Olympic Games was my gold medal it didn't matter that I came 58 the fact that I got there in the end was and my gold very, medal and I was so very, proud very... you know to be there just very, very briefly, because we've got to go to the weather now, which is, is a bit warmer than where you are. <laughs> um, what kept you going? <laughs> um, it was just the fact that I wanted to do the best that I could, wanted to be the best ski jumper that I could. So if that meant that I had to scrape food out of bins to eat and I could stay out there for another week to do some more ski jumping, then I would do it. And if that meant sleeping in the car, then so be it. Well, I just very, did whatever um, I could to stay out there, get an extra couple of jumps in and carry on. We're very glad you did. We look forward Thank to seeing the film. Thanks, Eddie. Eddie. It's a cracking film. We've got to leave you for the weather.